All right, so when you come home and your house is a little chilly and you got to put on a beanie and a hoodie, it's not because you're cheap. It's because you're trying to get more fixed. So the little bit of money that you save on that power bill last month, well, the power the, that's gone. Like you don't, you don't think back and go, man, I was really warm last month. You don't think like that. You think, man, I, I had this extra bit of money, so I got this extra fig, and this fig will be here forever. And then you really don't think about wearing the hoodie and the beanie in your house in the winter. But hey, that's that fig life, man. It, it's sacrifice, you know? You, you gotta do some stuff. Like, these things don't come easy. Like, these things are actually really expensive. And this SH Figure Arts Iron Man Mark V, this is something that I normally would have passed on for one. I was on Comic K's nuts, but it seems like they pretty much fell out. And two, I always thought that these SH Figure Arts Iron Mans were really expensive and hard to come by until they come in box sets with hollow armor pieces. And now you sell this for 110 so it's basically 55 bucks for a hollow armor, which is a really good deal, and 55 bucks for an Iron Man, which is also a really good deal. So you put these things in box sets, and you have a fan for life. Let's check it out. Okay, so for a size comparison, I basically pulled out the Marvel Legends version, uh, Comic K version, and then a Mezco Red Skull. So, in the Mezco Red Skull, the Mezco, I guess they're, they're definitely a little bit taller scale. He's basically about six and an eighth inches tall. All these other ones are basically right at six inches. So, they're, I guess the scale is good with themselves, it, but as far as Marvel Legends go, like, uh, basically all the Iron Mans are to me a little too small like he should be you know like at least six and a quarter if not six and a half inches tall for accessories we'll check those out basically it comes with the same hands that they all come with fisted hands flying hands hands that have the laser blasts in there when you change the hands out you have to change out that little shield thing that little guard that goes on top of his hand he also comes with this suitcase, which I think this is really good. I like the Marvel Legends one. This one is a little bit nicer. And then if you're smart, you get the two-pack, then you get another set to your Hall of Armor. And hopefully your Hall of Armor has grown because it's really nice to put something like that together. Let's get a closer look at them. All right, so the side-by-side -side comparison, you can definitely see that the figure arch is much nicer. Although this is, this is a really good toy especially for for Hasbro like like I think they did a really good job but this thing is a big improvement I just kind of hold them here side by side if you can kind of look them over you can definitely see that there's a lot of differences in the armor I'm pretty sure that this one was all new it almost looks like I don't know what's going on right there on the leg but definitely not on this one you turn them around the back of the knees like that's just that's articulation done right. When they do these Iron Man figures, like even the joints look good. Like it, it, everything looks perfect on these things. So here's the back of them. I think they did a really good job. As far as the color goes, I kind of like this deep red a little bit better than this bright red. But they're actually both really good toys. If you don't feel, <clears throat> if you don't feel like spinning, you know, I don't know whatever you can get them for. 110 bucks for the two pack. You probably pick them up for like 50, 60 bucks single. If you don't feel like that, then here's a good $20 option if you can find them on eBay. And it probably isn't $20 anymore. Maybe the price will go back down because this thing's out. As far as articulation goes on this head, it's basically the same as all the other ones. I've reviewed quite a few of these. We'll go over it really quick. The head is on a ball. The lower neck is also on a ball. The shoulders do pull out. Mine are really stiff. It feels like it's going to really pull out. Oh, we did it. The shoulder pad is articulated. I really like that. The bicep swivel, also really nice. Double elbow, you can't really ask for a better joint than that. The wrist, same little ball that we've been getting. The ab crunch on these things, I think they do a pretty good job. And it looks good when you bend it, like you don't see any gaps or anything weird. As far as it going back, you kind of get a little bit of a gap here. But what do you expect? The head doesn't really go up as far as you would probably like it to. It 
you th you would think from figure arts like that that would probably go up a little bit more, but it doesn't. And then it does turn here at the waist, several spots. I mean, that's just articulation done well. I think they do a really good job. The thighs also pull down like that for you can get tons of movement. And one of the joints that I really like about this is like the swivel here. Because it's totally hidden, works really well. And then the double knee, like that's just unbelievable that you can get that much movement out of an Iron Man figure. It does have a hinge at the toe here. Um, it... I mean, I have this problem on all of them. They have metal feet, which is good because it kind of weighs it down. But I'm lucky to get hardly any movement out of that. Like, they, those things, like, they barely move. The ankles on this thing, it has this little flap here for it can kind of move a little bit better. As far as a pivot, I'm not really getting much. Like, just a little bit there and hinge there. So the articulation is basically the same. They come with the same blast effects that you've been getting. I'll try to make this video a little bit shorter because my videos have been really long lately. So thanks for hanging in there on those. I do try to keep them short. Here he is. I don't know if he's a must pick him up because you got a good option back here. But for 50 bucks, I don't know what this thing's going for. He might be 50 bucks on eBay. He's definitely better than that one. I don't know if he's as good as the Comet Cave, but Comet Cave is pretty much no longer an option. I'll go ahead and throw him up there with the Hall of Armor. I'll try to squeeze this thing in there. It's kind of like the odd man out because I don't have one to go above it. Let's check All that right, out. So here's the new addition to the Hall of Armor set. It actually doesn't look that bad because I kind of have a step down over here for this Igor set because that thing's just too big. If I put another one on top of that, it would hit my shelf. So there's really not much I can do. So when you kind of stand back and look at it, it actually looks pretty good stepped down like that. Like So I guess when this thing grows, it's going to look cool because the next one's going to go right here and then it's just going to fill in anymore. And I'm already a little bit nervous because I definitely see this Hall of Armor set outgrowing my shelf at some point. Like It kind of seems like it needs to grow up more than wide because it's going to get wide really quick. And I really don't have a shelf to accommodate that. So I guess I'm going to have a really wide Hall of Armor set. I'll give you a close-up walkthrough real quick. Got all my Hall of Armors in here. Kind of have a little mix. Got a little, uh, little Marvel Legends in there. Figure Arts in there. Comic Cave in there. I'm really digging these two. This Gamma and this uh, Striker. Those two are like... Man, those are some of the best Iron Man figures I own. Went ahead and put that Disco Iron Man in there just because he kind of stands out and he was supposedly in the movie. And I don't know about you guys, but when the hell is SH Figure Artist going to make that Mark I for I can replace this thing? Because I am really looking forward to getting that fig. There's the Iron Man. There's the Iron Man Hall of Armor. Not really the Iron Man collection. That's down there. But we'll look at that a different day because like, hopefully someday I'll get that Iron Man for that Black Panther set. There it is. Thanks for watching.